Hey everyone, Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. This tutorial is about how to speed up or slow down an audio file to a specified tempo. I had a couple questions about this and I thought this was a great um, tutorial. Um, so, here I am. Here I am. Alright, so I'm going to start from the very, very beginning. So you have this MP3 that you're importing into Logic, okay? You have an MP3. Now, it turns out Logic does not like working with MP3s, so what you're going to have to do to do this is you're going to have to select the track and then bounce it. Make sure you bounce it as an AIFF file uh, and then make sure you get it back in to Logic. Once you, are able, once you have done that, you can then proceed with what I'm going to tell you. Now, make sure you do this step because you are you guys are all going to be bitching at me about like Mitch why is the time and pitch what not working why and I'm going to be like ho oh, it's because you didn't convert to AIFF and it's still an MP3 so make sure you did this okay make sure make sure make sure okay now what I'm going to do next is try to find the beats per minute of this actual audio file that I have in here and to do that it's easy enough there is a plugin inside of metering called the BPM counter I'm gonna put that on and basically all this does is it listens to the track listens to the transients of the track and over a period of time averages out the um, BPM um, of this track and so I'm just gonna play it and see what it comes up with Okay, so it's saying about 140.5. Usually, to begin with, I just round it off to the nearest, like, one value, so it would be 140. Because um, usually, um, producers aren't that creative and just like doing it at um, straight up, just whole values. Um, sometimes you'll get a producer that is just like, hmm, yeah, let's make that 0.2 um, beats per minute faster because I think that's going to sound better but not very often. So um, let's go with 140, see what it sounds like. So it's looking like 140 is what the actual BPM of this song is right now. So uh, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is double clicking the audio file and it's going to open up the sample editor. Now the next thing that I do inside of the sample editor is go to factory and then time and pitch machine. And it opens up this nifty little box. Nifty little box. Okay. And as you can see um, down here in the tempo portion, that it says tempo original is 140, which is correct. That's what we changed the track to. And the destination is 140 also. Now, we don't want it 140, obviously, we're changing it. So we can change it to whatever the BPM of the song is that you are trying to do, or the the outcome of you know just whatever just whatever BPM you want just just do it so I'm just gonna change it down to 110 because um, I want to yeah so it's gonna be changed from 140 BPM to 110 and you will definitely be able to see that there will be a tempo change on this so before I click this process and paste button this is gonna take a while there will be a pinwheel of death for a little bit and it will have a lot of samples to process because this song is a full song and it will take a while to do. So when you are actually doing this on your own, do not be scared when that pinwheel of death comes up and you want to chuck your laptop or your Mac across the room. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Just keep, just power through it. So I'm going to press this and I'm going to skip to when it's done because it might take a while. Yep. All right, everyone, it looks like that did it. So I'm going to exit out of this time and pitch machine, get out of the sample editor, and see what happened. So you can definitely tell that there will be a noticeable tempo change in that. And just to make sure, I'm going to make this down to 110 and see if the click is with the actual track that we did.
Yeah, so I mean, it's it's close, very close to um, that 110 that we specified in the time and pitch machine down in our sample editor. So uh, that's really just how you do it. You just kind of set your destination to whatever you want and then just let logic do the magic for you. Fun stuff, fun stuff. So everyone, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe like usual, and I will be seeing you very soon. Peace out.